On Friday night, the Eastern A will welcome its newest varsity football program to the mix. The Lockwood Lions will make their debut after spending three years preparing for the moment. You know, from the first day as freshmen all the way into this fall camp and getting into this week is just getting better every day, doing the little things right. And at the end of the day, everything's going to pay off, and that's what we're hoping for this week. It's felt long, but it's gone by fast. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of conditioning, trying to get ready for it all, you know. Lockwood brought some momentum into fall camp after picking up a few victories during last year's JV schedule. And that's gone a long way, boosting the morale at practice. It was definitely a good mental boost, considering the last two years we've kind of lost a lot of games. And last year was just a good mental boost for us. Just, you know, winning breeds success. It gets more kids out. And, you know, all summer we've had confidence going into things. And I think that was tremendous for us just last year, you know, getting some wins and rolling that success into this summer, then into fall camp and building their confidence. The Lions get thrown to the proverbial Wolves right away, though, as they get Eastern A powerhouse Billings Central in Week 1. Lockwood will know if it's ready for big boy football, as the Rams feature one of the best backfield tandems in the state. You know, I think it's great. I mean, you know, to play against the best right away, that's how we, I wouldn't want it any other way. I mean, they're at the pinnacle of Class A football. Like you said, they're in there every year. They're always in the running, so you know, that's who we got to play with and we have to compete with if we want to hang at the Class A level, and we'll see how we do. Kickoff between Central and Lockwood is slated for 7 p.m. at Herb Clint Field on the campus of Rocky Mountain College. In Lockwood, Alec Boffinger, MTN Sports.